Welcome to the Diesel Dad. I'm Doug Larson with the Barbell Shrug Podcast. The purpose of this video is to walk through what the programming looks like when you join the Diesel Dad program. We have three programs from which to choose. I'm going to outline you know, exactly how those programs work, how many, days, how many days a week, how long each workout is, what the structure looks like, how it's periodized, etc. cetera. Uh, but first, let's talk about what your situation is like once you become a father, which will shed light on how and why we designed the programs the way that we did. Uh, so first, when you become a dad, your life fundamentally changes. You become much busier. You have a lot, a lot more responsibilities and obligations than you did presumably before you had kids. If you already had, you had a job and and you know maybe hobbies before. Well, now you have a job, hobbies, and a second job, so to speak, where uh, you have a lot more things to do before and after work that that have to be done. You have to be there to uh, you know to change your kid, to feed your kid, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you have a lot more to do many more obligations, you're likely going to be much more tired than you were before, especially if you have little kids. You know, I have a three, four and five year old in this moment. And, you know, I've been more tired the last five years than than I have than I had been in the years before. I can't sleep when I want to. I'm often woken up. I have kids coming into my bedroom, at, you know, many nights um, of, of each week. You know, just this last night, I got woken up at you know, four in the morning and, and I had to go like help a kid who had a sore throat. It's just, it's just what happens when you're a parent and you have little kids. You have to be be there for them when they need you. Uh, so your free time becomes limited, and you're kind of on someone else's schedule the majority of the time, uh, and that's a problem for your you know your health and fitness, and in particular like performance and strength as well. That requires you know dedicated training to to get better at those things. If you're a competitive athlete and now you're a parent. It's just that much harder to train the way that you did before and to recover the way that you did before. So if you're a parent and you're not competing anymore, and you maybe used to compete, you used to have workouts that were like two hours long, you know, 90 minutes long, two hours long, plus to commute to and from the gym and showering and all that. It's, it's hours out of your day, uh, which is awesome. If you have the time, I, I remember doing that and I loved doing it. Uh, but now it's not like that anymore. I, I have much less time to train now than I did before I had kids. So uh, my old workouts are certainly longer, uh, were certainly longer than, than they are now. I've had to to adapt and adjust onto shorter programming. Uh, in fact, I actually wrote these Diesel Dad training programs originally for myself when COVID hit, and I had three kids at home that weren't in school, and I was trying to run run a company. Luckily, it was all online, so I could still work, uh, and my wife was you know here to help and whatnot, but she wanted me to be around basically all day long to do parenting, and I had to wake up and like four or five in the morning to get any work done before 7.30. And throughout the day, it was hard for me to break away because I'd be sticking my wife with all three kids. And, you know, that, that was tough on her. So I tried to make my workouts super short, which is uh, which eventually led into, um, you know, for, further, more formal development of these programs. That way I could scale them out to other dads in a, a very similar situation. Uh, so compounding the problems that we mentioned earlier, um, your lack of sleep. Limit your recovery. So even if you were doing two-hour workouts, like if you're, you know, if you went from eight and a half hours of sleep a night or whatever it was, whatever it is, to you know, six and a half or seven hours of sleep per night, you know, it's going to be tougher to recover from those those longer, higher volume workouts. Uh, inevitably, if you're tired and you're you're super busy, uh, workouts get skipped. Uh, it happened to me. I, I, I've skipped more workouts in the last couple of years than I than I have in the previous twenty years before that. I still work out all the time, of course. It's just kind of who I am and what I do. Uh, but it's easy for dads to skip workouts. And if you skip workouts, then inevitably, you're going to be one of those people that has the dad bod, which nobody wants. Uh, downstream problems. You know, you, you're setting a bad example for your kids if you are skipping workouts. Um, you, you're going to lose fitness. You're going to gain body fat, decrease muscle mass. You get physically weaker. Your joints may lose range of motion. And you may look and feel less attractive, which... You know, married or single, you know, looking and feeling less attractive is, is no fun for anybody. Like if you're if you're married, you want you want your wife, uh, in this case, to to uh, be attracted to you and, and still desire you and, and all that. Uh, if you're single, then and you're in the dating world, then you know you definitely want to be attractive because you're you're trying to you know land somebody that's high quality, presumably. Uh, also, you may have less energy, uh, trouble regulating your mental health, which is uh, something that I didn't really consider much until. Uh, until I had kids and my life became a little more stressful, there was there was more conflict, less sleep, and all that. And so, um, 
you know, breaking away to train became just as beneficial for my mental and emotional health as it as it always has been for my physical health. I didn't really think about it before I got married and, and had the, the stress of three kids in three years. Uh, but now when I go to train, it's definitely for my physical health, but it's also just to give me uh, a, a mental break from, from my day. Uh, and it's been really rewarding to me to, to get that mental break um, ever since having kids. Um, other downstream problem, problems, uh, possible sexual performance issues. Uh, it's also easier to slip into a depressive state. Uh, it may be more difficult to work long hours because you're just tired all the time. Maybe harder to focus. And if you can solve these problems by finding training programs that, that fit your new lifestyle, then and you continue to train, then essentially everything I just said you know, goes the other direction. Uh, it shows your family that there is always something possible to do, even if you can't do the workout that you quote unquote want to do, the, the longer two hour, higher volume workout at the gym or whatever it is. You know, maybe you're just doing 20 minute programs or 20 minute uh, workouts rather. Uh, in your garage, maybe it's only body weight only because you don't have a garage gym. Whatever it is, you're you're showing your family that the health and fitness is important, and you you're going to do something given your situation. If you don't have any weights, you do body weight exercise, like I just said. Like you're you're just showing them that no matter what, you're still going to do something. Uh, you'll keep and improve your fitness, decrease body fat, or at least maintain a, a healthy body weight. Uh, keep and or build muscle mass. Hopefully, get physically stronger, or at least maintain strength. Uh, same with range of motion. You'll maintain range of motion and or improve range of motion. Ideally, look and feel more attractive, more energy, better for your mental health, better better sexual performance, less likely to fall into a depressive state, easier to work longer hours, easier to focus. Exercise is good for really damn near every aspect of, of your life. So our solution for those of you that are now dads and need workouts that fit your lifestyle is the Diesel Dad program. And there's there's three workouts within this that I'm going to go over here in a second. But first, you know, what is a diesel dad? Uh, the, the big picture kind of mission statement or um, summary of what a diesel dad is, is. It's a dad who trains to be strong, lean, and athletic without sacrificing family, fatherhood, or fitness. <laughs> if you watch Barbell Shrug, you hear Andrews say that all the time. Uh, we decided to expand on that and we wrote the diesel dad code, which you see in front of you, uh, which just walks through kind of what the ideal dad looks like. The ideal dad who's, uh, you know, a good father in, in all ways, but also is uh, really highlights to his children and to his family the importance of health and fitness and how to be healthy, uh, how to train, how often to train, etc. You're setting a good example. So I, I won't read all these, but um, definitely look them over. The Diesel Dad Code is is kind of the dad that we aspire to be. Okay, we're gonna run through each, each training program. Uh, first, Emom Strength is our longest tr program, kind of most comprehensive. Our medium length program is Emom Aesthetics. And then density weight training is our, our fastest, kind of shortest workout program for people that uh, have limited time to train. Uh, so going into the details, EMOM strength, uh, you know, the, the name is actually very descriptive here. You're training to improve strength, building muscle mass is a part of improving strength, and it's done in, in EMOM fashion. And the reason we chose EMOMs is because we want to keep the pace very high. That way we're making the, the workout very, very time efficient. So. This workout um, takes about 40 to 60 minutes, depending on the day, and, and it's four days per week. And here's an example of what one day looks like. Um, the, the general structure of three EMOMs per day uh, is, is very consistent, and then the, the volume and intensity fluctuates, and I'll show you that here on the next slide. But uh, for EMOM one here, you see that there's, there's eight rounds, all explosive reps, front squats and bench press. So minute one, you would front squat 75% for a double, and 75% just for two reps is a very easy thing to do. So they're, they're intended to be fast, explosive reps. Same thing with bench press. You do a double the first minute on front squat, a double the second minute on bench press. You do that for eight rounds, 16 minutes total. And you're accumulating a lot of first reps kind of in a dynamic effort method um, format where you're you're training for explosive power. And the, the percentages will, you know, 75% won't be that every single week. Uh, it'll kind of range between 65 and 90% depending on the week. Uh, the EMOM 2 and 3 here, uh, these are just like volume-oriented functional bodybuilding type um, type training. So uh, EMOM 2, the um, set B, B1, B2, B3, pistols, dumbbell bench press, hanging knee raises. Uh, for pistols, you're just doing AMRAP on your left leg. Uh, for B2, dumbbell bench press, you're doing uh, whatever weight you think uh, roughly, you know, just estimate as a 15 rep max. You do max reps with that on the second minute. And then hanging knee raises, again, you're just doing max reps. 
three rounds of that, nine minutes total, and then move on to uh, part C. Pistols on the other side, tricep extensions, calf raises. Uh, it's just very basic, um, very basic single joint work uh, for your tricep extensions and calf raises, and then uh, just hit pistols on the other leg. So that's an example of what Imam strength looks like. If we dig into kind of the, the bigger picture, looking at what the four week format looks like for the first Imam of that day, um, there's going to be a four week cycle of, of uh, overtime. Um, actually, now that I'm looking at this, this chart, it's actually incorrect. The, the volume will go down over the four weeks and the intensity will go up. Sorry, the, the colors are, are switched. So over the four weeks, you'll go from doing something like 65% for like 12 sets of three, which is higher volume, lower intensity toward, you know, on week three, you're doing nine, you know, 85, 90% for five sets of singles. And then on the last week, you'll be doing you know, something along the lines of a one rep max, um, kind of a daily max. We don't do like always true one rep max. It's just whatever you can hit that day um, without, without like overly exerting yourself, we'll say. <laughs> uh, that way you can get a one rep max on uh, say front squat and bench press, like we just saw in the last example, uh, within like a 15 minute period. So you're not you're not spending all day maxing. You're just you're just hitting a heavy weight and then moving on to your uh, functional bodybuilding assistance work. Uh, that functional bodybuilding assistance work uh, kind of operates in a, a non-linear undulating periodization type type fashion, where you start week one is very low volume, week two is higher volume, week three is medium volume, and then week four is is very high volume. Imam Aesthetics, again, the name is very descriptive, it's Imam type training, but in this case, we're training to, to look good, to build muscle mass and lose body fat. Uh, strength isn't the, the intended focus, although there will be some heavy lifting as a part of this program, though less than Imam Strength. And most of these workouts are 20 to 40 minutes long, and they are five, this program is five days per week. Here's an example of uh, one of the days. So five rounds, Ping pong Imam. So for, for A, you go A1, A2, A1, A2. Uh, you do that five rounds, so that's 10 minutes total. And for this one, you're cleaning two reps at 80% and then doing a low inclined bench, 70% of your max for max reps. Uh, B2, sumo deadlifts, three reps at 70%. And then feet elevated ring push ups for your uh, for AMRAP for your, your second minute there. Again, five rounds of that one as well, so 10 minutes for circuit B. And then same thing for um, circuit C. This actually got copied over and is, is incorrect. It wouldn't be sumo deadlift and, and ring elevated pushups again. Um, that'd be switched out with something else. It'd probably be something like single leg RDLs uh, and, and tricep extensions or something like that. So sorry about that. That, that graph needs to be corrected. Uh, the the non-linear undulated periodization style that, that was present for the, the volume on Iman Strength is the same format for uh, Imam Aesthetics. So week one for Imam Aesthetics is low volume, and then week two is high volume, medium volume, and then very high volume, and then that four-week mesocycle will will repeat. Density weight training. As I said before, this program is for people that are like super, super busy, but they want to do something. So it's 15-minute AMRAPs, five days a week. That's it. Get in, warm up quickly, knock out 15-minute AMRAP. You can be in and out of the gym in 20 minutes. You know, if, you're, if you're waking up at you know, 4.30 in the morning, you can roll out of bed, do your workout, and at five o'clock, be, be inside your house, taking your shower, getting ready for work, whatever you need to do. Uh, here's an example. So 50 minute AMRAP, in this case, uh, it's kind of a more of an upper body oriented workout, strict handstand pushups for three reps, strict chin-ups for six reps, and then burpee box jumps for nine reps, as many rounds as possible in 15 minutes. Uh, kind of two out of the five days will be kind of upper body oriented, two, two will be more lower body oriented, and then one day is more like cardio and, and core stuff. All of it's delivered on True Coach. So you have a very sexy True Coach app that delivers all the programming, makes it very easy to find workouts and track everything. Uh, also, we will be helping you out within the Diesel Dad Dojo, which is our Facebook group, uh, which is where all the coaching happens. If you have questions about the programming or if your technique is good on something or, or nutrition or whatever it is, um, you know, myself, Anders, or the rest of our team, everyone's in there. Uh, plus, you know, again, tons of other athletes, there's hundreds of, other, hundreds of other athletes in that group that are dads that are in your situation that are doing the programming. So uh, it's a great place to, to build community, to, to you know, ask questions and to learn. Uh, and uh, it's a great resource for, for anyone that, that's a dad that's doing this program. 
Uh, to be involved, the Diesel Dad program is $52 per month. If you're not already on this page, you can go to barbellshark.com backslash Diesel Dad and there'll be more information on that page telling you about the program. Uh, free and last questions. How long does the program last? It's just ongoing programming. So just like you would you'd sign up to be a member of the CrossFit gym and every day there'd be the workout of the day. Same thing with the Diesel Dad. We have three workouts provided so you can you can choose which one you want to do. We generally recommend you pick you know Emon Strength, Aesthetics, or Density Weight Training for at least like at a minimum the four week block since they're four week mesocycles. But ideally more like eight or 12 weeks so you can really get a sense for um, you know, what kind of progress you're making on, on that program, but you can switch whenever you want. Uh, what kind of equipment do I need? Uh, generally, you need a full gym. Uh, if you don't have a full gym, that's, that's fine. We can help you modify uh, the workouts if you need to, which is question number three on here says, what can I do the workouts if I don't have a barbell? Uh, you certainly can. Imam strength will be the hardest to do without a barbell because that's the heaviest, you know, the heaviest lifting that you'll do out of all these programs. There's one rep maxes in there. It's hard to do deadlift one rep maxes if you don't have a barbell as an example. So. Uh, for Imam Strength, I'd say you definitely need a barbell. For Imam Aesthetics and Density Weight Training, you can make the modifications uh, and just use dumbbells or kettlebells and just do higher reps and, and that'll be totally fine. Uh, what if I miss a workout? Do I make it up? Um, I'd say for the most part, no. Uh, if if you miss a workout and the next day there's another workout provided, you know, if it's, if it's five days a week and you have two workouts in a row, if you miss one and then the next day you have a different one provided, just skip the one you missed and, and just do the one provided. Uh, if you miss a workout and there's a there's a rest day the next day, well, then just do the workout you were supposed to do the day before. You just kind of just switch your rest day and your uh, and your training day in that case. Uh, can I stay in the Diesel Dad Dojo even after canceling? Uh, yes, absolutely. Once you're a part of the Diesel Dad program, you know, we're, you're welcome to stay in the community and, and hang out. If you cancel your membership, the programming won't show up on your app anymore, but you can stay in the Diesel Dad Dojo uh, for as long as you want and just be a part of the community, be a part of the uh, part of the group. Uh, will I be coached? Yes, you will be coached. Be coached again within the Diesel Dad Dojo. If you want more personal one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, we can do that as well. We have another tier for that. Uh, if you're interested, you can let us know and we can, we can talk about doing more regular, more regular uh, systematic coaching calls you know, every week or every two weeks or once a month or, or whatever works for you. We work, we're happy to work one-on-one -on -one with you if you need help. Uh, can I do this if I'm new to lifting? Uh, I'd say you can, uh, but it we're not going to be there in person to coach you. So if you have no experience at all with, you know, cleans or snatches or whatever it is, uh, some of the more complicated movements, then, you know, you, you may want to modify movements. Again, in the, in the dojo, you can you can ask us for help about, I don't know how to do that kind of movement. You know, what should I do in this place? Can I substitute it or scale in some way? And we can help you with all that. Uh, what if I have an injury? Uh, if you have an injury, you know, number one, you know, if it warrants, you know, seeing a doctor or physical therapist, definitely go get it, get it checked out. If it's just kind of like an achy joint and you just want to kind of work around it while it heals up. We can help you with that. Um, you know, if you have an achy shoulder, then maybe doing jerks isn't, isn't for you for the moment, but maybe you could do like a high incline dumbbell bench press and maybe that feels fine in your shoulder or whatever it is. Uh, is there any nu nutritional support? Uh, again, in the in the Diesel Dad Dojo, if you have nutrition questions, we're happy to help out. When you get on a call and talk about nutrition, we're happy to help. Uh, we also have the Diesel Dad Challenge, which is uh, the same thing that we're talking about right now. It's the Diesel Dad Programming, but the first 30 days, uh, you get extra nutri extra nutritional support. Uh, and then there's, there's a few other extra things tied in there just to help you start to gain consistency uh, with your training. Uh, can I do these workouts with my wife or a friend? Absolutely, bring in anyone you want. Do I need to know my one rep maxes? You don't have to. I think it's a good idea to have a rough idea of what they are. You know, you should be able to say like, well, I could squat 350 on any day, no matter what. So that's my max. But maybe in reality, you, you could squat 375, but you're, but you're kind of not sure if you're going to get it or not. Just use the lowest number that you know you can get if you don't already know your maxes. Imam Strength maxes every four weeks, so you'll figure out your maxes relatively quickly. Uh, and finally, can I do this program if I am not a dad? Um, yeah, absolutely. Really, it's, it's programming that anybody could do. It's just time efficient programming for busy people. Uh, dads happen to fall into that category, but, but really anyone can do it. Uh, I mentioned this second ago, these are that challenge. This is the initial 30 days. If you want to build consistency over the course of 30 days, you can go to barbershop.com backslash diesel dad challenge. You'll get access to the programming for the month. Uh, and then after that, after the first month, you just roll on to, um, just the programming and the diesel dad challenge will be over. 
Uh, and finally, uh, we have a free resource that you can go check out. It's called the Diesel Dad 100. Uh, it's 30 workouts that are 100 reps each. Generally, these workouts take less than 10 minutes. We usually do them in the morning. Uh, you roll out of bed, you know, go grab, go downstairs, grab your coffee, um, and then do 100 reps of something. So, you know, very basic. It could be, you know, 50 push-ups and 50 air squats. It's just something to get some blood flow, wake up, um, you know, just basically to help you feel good in the morning. And so, 30 days worth of that. Um, that's also a part of the Diesel Dad Challenge, doing the Diesel Dad 100. But you can get the Diesel Dad 100 for free by going to barbellshark.com backslash Diesel Dad. 100. Here, I'll go back to this here. Uh, and finally, again, if you want to join the Diesel Dad, uh, I would love to have you come join. Uh, it is barbellshog.com backslash Diesel Dad. Uh, it's $52 per month, ongoing programming, very time efficient specifically for dads. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us on, on any platform, um, Instagram, email. You can email help at barbellshog.com. That's our athlete support. Um, they can answer any basic questions and or if you need to get a hold of me or Andrew specifically, again, you can reach out to us uh, on Instagram or email us, dog at barbellshrug.com or Anders at barbellshrug.com and we will help you out. Thank you for listening. Hope you join the program. See you later.